The Raja Ampat Archipelago is a group of islands in eastern Indonesia off the western tip of the New Guinea bird's head. Marine scientists have recently discovered that the waters surrounding the Raja Ampats and the bird's head of West New Guinea contain the most biodiverse marine environment anywhere on Earth. Recognition of the importance of Raja Ampat has led to international support for efforts by the local government to conserve and manage their marine resources. The support of the local communities enabled the designation and formal declaration of six large MPAs, Marine Protected Areas, with the full support of the local parliament. These cover about 30% of the critical habitats found in the Raja Ramparts. Much effort is also being spent on training leaders in the local community and government employees with marine conservation skills so they can more effectively manage the MPAs. This is essential when there are many conflicting demands made on the natural resources, including logging, mining and large-scale commercial fishing and destructive fishing. The Kalabia is a floating educational centre, designed to visit all the villages in the Raja Ampats and to teach the local population the essentials of marine conservation. Hi, we are the Kalabia Education Team. Hope you enjoy this film about our programme. The Kalabia is a floating education station. We're fully equipped to travel to all 100 Raja Ampat villages and provide interactive education programming. We're equipped with an onboard library, several different areas where the students can do small group lessons, and we've also got a full set of snorkeling gear to take the kids snorkeling on the reefs right in front of their village. We've also got on board an open air cinema. We invite the entire village out in the evenings to come and watch films and presentations about conservation. But because we've been taking photos the entire three days of programming, we've got lots and lots of photos to share with them from their relatives. So the part that gets the best reaction from the village is actually seeing themselves up on the big screen. I'm so happy to be a part of this team because during the two years I've been sailing around Raja Ampat with the Kalabia. I've heard so many stories from the parents of the kids who participate in the education program about the behavior changes they are seeing. This does not only apply to the kids, but also to the parents themselves. I hope that this program continues in Raja Ampat because it's so important, both for me individually, but more so for Raja Ampat community as a whole. Through the Kalabia, every single child from all 100 Raja Ampat villages sees with their own eyes the difference between destroyed and intact coral reefs. We are educating the next generation. The future politicians, fishermen and businessmen of Raja Ampat will all have an ecological awareness rooted in this Kalabia program. One truly integral part of this program is this charismatic, dedicated team of local Raja Ampat educators. They instill in the kids of Raja Ampat the sense of pride, love, and ownership over the natural environment. This team isn't made up of marine biologists or they weren't even teachers before they joined us on the Calabia, but the important thing is their passion for the conservation and preservation of this area. Everything about this program has been specifically tailored to this particular area. For instance, the name Kalabia itself actually comes from a local name for an endemic walking shark found only in Raja Ampat. The superstructure is painted to show the interconnectivity between the predominant marine coastal ecosystems. We've got the mangrove forests, the seagrass beds, and the coral reefs. The program itself also very much in tune with the local culture. So we integrate a great deal of song and dance and storytelling because that is very, very important in the Papuan tradition. The activities themselves, of course, were all created to specifically address the threats to conservation in Raja Ampat. This is a great idea to begin improving the moral crisis affecting the younger generation. 
These environmental programs, which are focused on the marine ecosystem, are really needed by the entire community, not just in West Papua, but throughout Indonesia. The young children all get something from the program. When they go home and tell their parents what they learn on the Calabia, it turns out their parents also realize the importance of protecting the environment as well. Calabia is such a powerful program, Renja Empat. It's the opinion of the communities themselves that it has a great impact on both the kids and adults. Both the highly motivated educational team and their curriculum have been warmly received throughout the archipelago. Through exploratory hands-on activities, students learn about coral reefs, mangrove and seagrass ecosystems, as well as about habitats, webs of life and population carrying capacities. The Kalabia team has now taught over 4,000 children and teachers in all the 100 villages of the Raja Ampats about their local marine environment and the importance of conservation. All of the lessons are highly interactive, they're experiential lessons. We take the kids out, they see the coral reefs, they see the mangroves, and they're learning directly from those ecosystems. The Calabia is so important, it teaches about so many things. From a young age, the kids gain an understanding of the natural ecosystems from the sea to the land, and the interconnectivity of life around them. I am so proud to work aboard the Calabia, because this education program is extremely important for the kids of Raja Ampat. Not only the locals who are interested in the Calabia, but foreigners, dive tourists, expats living in other parts of Indonesia, everyone comes and asks us, how can we send our kids to join you on this program? I think that one thing that the Calabia is very successful at is creating not only increasing the level of knowledge and understanding of the kids, but also this sense of, of love and pride over the local environment, it's overflowing from the Calabia, from the kids that actually participate in the program, to their older brothers, to their older sisters, to their parents, and, and everyone has a greater appreciation for the environment than they did before the Calabia was here. The tears that flow when we finish an education program and the Calabia leaves the jetty are just, they speak volumes about the real difference that we're making in these villages. The Calabia coming to these villages is probably the single most anticipated event of the year. Everyone throughout Raja Ampat thinks everything about the Calabia is great. They all want the Calabia to continue to exist in Raja Ampat. Just in the last few years that I've been here, I've seen the threats to conservation of this area increase exponentially. But I've also seen that there's a a general increase in awareness in the communities that we've visited. We've now visited all 100 villages in Raja Ampat, and we feel confident that the next time around, we'll go back to all of those villages, and that the next time around, our job will get a little bit easier and a little bit easier every time. The Calabia is without question one of our most influential and innovative uh, conservation programs in Papua, and it's certainly uh, the best loved at the village level. Everyone loves the Calabia. Um, it's also really our best tool for sustainability of our programs uh, in the long run in the sense that this is really focused on those kids that in five to ten years time are going to be making choices between being bomb and cyanide fishermen or doing something more sustainable like hand lining. So really important. At the same time, uh, besides being influential and innovative, it's also very expensive to run this program and as such that's why we are now really reaching out to try to gather more support for the program. Thank you for your support of our program.